fruitful talk from the pew. My name is Betty Ann Gladney Boo. First, I give all honor and praises to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because He is worthy of all the praise. Today, I would like to talk to you about one of the fruits of the Spirit that comes out of the book of Galatians 5.22, which reads, But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. I want to say a few words about peace. It's a five-letter word, but it has a powerful meaning. Today, right now, this very second minute and hour, that God has given to us, we need to thank God for how far He has brought us. Look at everything that's going on right now in this world that we are living in. Nobody but Jesus is keeping us. In the book of John, the 16th chapter, the 33rd verse, it reads, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world, you will have trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We need to look to Jesus. Pray daily that he guides your footsteps and guides your tongue. In the book of Romans, the fifth chapter, verse 11, it reads, Therefore, having been justified in Christ through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right now, can you truly say that God brought you and that he has kept you, we need to pray without ceasing. Isaiah, the 26th chapter, the third verse reads, You will be kept in perfect peace today. Let Jesus lead and guide you in your daily walk and talk. He is our Savior, praise God. He can give us peace in times of trouble, in our times of our ups and downs, throughout the good and the bad. He is there to lead and guide us because He cares about us. We just need to trust God. Let Him be your guide, for He's able to take care of our needs. In Ephesians, the second chapter, verse 14, it reads, For He Himself is our peace, who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of separation. Let us come together as one and learn to love one another. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's John 3, 16. We need to have peace in our life daily. Put your trust in God. Let him lead and guide you. It reads in Proverbs, the third chapter, verse 6, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Also, I want to leave this with you. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. That's Matthew 5 and 9. Let God lead and guide you is my prayer today. Thank you.